Yo, what's up? Just walking around. Examining the race course. About to, about to go to Lurlin. To do a couple things in Lurlin. Because, uh, boat race. That's right, ladies and germs. New power. New kind of boat at Lurlin. The boat race. This is boat episode five? Four? Four. The boat race. This is like, it's sold out, right? There's boat episode one, boat episode two, boat episode three, like the reboot, the new and unique and original. And then it did really well. So this is them like learning the wrong lesson about why boat race three was like received the way it was and just saying, oh, okay. Uh, boat race, or not boat race, boat race three, fuck, boat episode three was received really well. They're like, uh, boat race. That'll do the trick. That'll, that'll, that'll sell. And maybe it will. But then even in it selling, it's like kind of a shitty evil thing. Cause it's like, oh, you've lost, you've lost it. You've lost the charm. It's no longer, you know, boat episode. It is now boat race. You've lost the plot. And while you may have discovered a new thing that does just as well, if not better, the old thing is gone now. It has effectively been replaced. Anyways, check out this cool pot. Awesome, right? You know, a couple days ago, something really, like, important happened for annoying people. <laughs> In that, uh, we got, like, the first proper trailer for the Netflix Scott Pilgrim anime. And it looks, it looks good. I like it. <laughs> it's, it's gonna make a lot. It's gonna, it's gonna do the thing again. It's gonna do the thing again where everyone just fucking... Hmm? Where everyone just fucking tries to do the Scott Pilgrim style. And it's gonna be really annoying. It's gonna be really funny too. Because uh, I was definitely one of those people as a kid. Uh, when I, cause like when I was a kid in like elementary school, that like my, my elementary school library had a how to draw manga book and I was absolutely fucking miserable at drawing the manga. Like I thought it looked really cool, but I, I, I was a child and uh, I was, I was like bad at drawing because I was just starting to draw and I wanted to draw good in a, in a style that wasn't immediately intuitive to me. And it was kind of, you know, I would try, but I was embarrassed and I didn't really want to do it anymore. And being an irrational child, I didn't really want to draw anymore. Right? I couldn't get the triangles or like any of the, like the angular shapes right. I could really only do like squares or circles. So, you know, I go over to my buddy's, I go over to Ian's house. Right? My buddy Ian, he's like, bro, check out this game. Found your chest. Um, like, bro, check out this game. He shows me the fucking Scott Pilgrim beat him up. And I'm looking at the art and like, it is a bit, you know, it's definitely a game that was animated and sprited by Paul Robertson. <laughs> right. But it had a lot of circles. It had a lot of squares. And I was like, yo, that's like, I could do that someday, eventually. And I think I want to. So, you know, I started drawing again. And, like, I, I'm not, like, an artist guy. But, you know, I still, like, I'll still sketch. I'll still doodle. Like, for fun, in the comfort of my own home. I talked about it once. And I, I'm glad I do. Oh. Hey, I found your dad's blue shirt. Does he happen to be, uh, does he happen to have like a little conductor stick by chance? But yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm not like a, I'm not like a diehard for Scott Pilgrim, like the game or even the books. I do think they're fun, but they do also definitely have their problems. Like the game, it's only seven levels progressing and it's very... 
grindy, very sloggy. Uh, if the soundtrack wasn't as much of a fucking banger as it is, uh, that game would be fucking miserable. The amount of times you got to go back to 1-1 to get like anything. You know, outside of like a few snacks, especially because like the special store is there. And like, you just, you just keep going in, you keep grinding until you get like bionic arm. And then the game, it, it, there you go. There you go. You're playing the game. And I do understand that like that shit went through develop, uh, develop, bolt, bleh, bleh, bleh. that shit went through developer hell. And that's why it's like that. But it's still like, and, and I'm not grading this on like the American standard grading system. Fuck that thing. Uh, it's like a six. I don't know. It's like a six. <laughs> Cool. And you can't upgrade it because it's a DLC shirt from the previous game. So while it is a cute outfit, it's only one defense forever. You know what? Like, you know, getting off topic from the from the Scott Pilgrim diatribe, fucking this this dad had a favorite shirt, and now he's like, you know what? No, you can have it. Oh, oh never mind. I thought I just got his dad shirt. Like, you know, you know, like the classic fucking like, this is a shirt that your dad had forever ago. He might not wear it anymore. It might be tattered. It might be like shitty, but that is, that is his fucking shirt. That is, that is his shirt. That is a prized possession worth more than most things, right? Oh. Yo, what's up? What? <laughs> what? Was he supposed to be walking around like that? Where's Ru- Oh. What? <laughs> I don't- I don't think this is supposed to be happening. <laughs> I don't think this is supposed to be happening. Hey guys. Holy shit. Ah. <laughs> I I hate dude, stop. Yeah, there we go. Lurlin Water Rally. Call it that. That's so much better. Yeah. The Savior's race. Shut up. All the all the Savior stuff is fucking weird, dude. Jill. I don't want like a Liga clan situation. <laughs> oh. What the fuck? Oh my goodness gracious. You did it. You built the course. Here's all the boating supplies. 
Why do you have wheels? Oh, to make paddle boat. To make paddle boat. <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. I mean, I gotta run the course, right? Holy shit. <laughs> I broke it. How did I break it? What fucking happened? He was just walking around. I just wanted to talk to him. Like, I don't think any of that was supposed to be, like, happening, you know? I don't know. Call, call it, like, a like a hunch. But, uh... Whoa. I don't, I don't think, I don't think that any of that was, like, correct. But yeah, Scott Pilgrim, the game. It's cool. Comma. It's like, it's, it's really sloggy. It's definitely better with friends. But having to say that is like admitting a weakness, I think, because like anything is better than friends. But I feel like being able to like call in the big, just the way the game is paced, right? I, I do want to say one thing. It's fucking so stellar that Scott Pilgrim versus the world, the game got to come back. I made so many annoying inside jokes about like, you know, I could sell my Xbox and make a lot of money off it because it's got Scott Pilgrim on it. And it's like, it sucks to have to say that, right? Even if the game is kind of mid, er, I almost just said kind of mid, and then I corrected to like mediocre, because I want to say mid as in like middling, not mid as in like dog shit, but you know, that's what it means now. It means dog shit. We having fun students, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, how do I make it more buoyant? I've got the craziest idea. I put this thing on it. I put the stone on it because the stone will hold it upright when it's activated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure thing, boss. But it's like, it's so awesome that that game was able to be like re-released and like saved from fucking the depths of Xbox Live Arcade, especially because that's shutting down. That would be one of the like 230 exclusive games that, that you would just not be able to play anymore. And that's also just a massive fucking shame. Like, I hope all of, I hope I hope all of the, the ROMs of each of those games are, like, uh, found in some guy's attic, you know? Because, fucking... It sucks. It sucks for things to have to fucking disappear like that. When they don't have to. Even if it's shit. It's still good to have them. There's still, like, good lessons to learn from, right? Speaking of, like, the Scott Pilgrim game again, um, fucking the new Ninja Turtles beat them up made by, like, Tribute. Or actually, I don't know if Tribute made it or if they, like, published it, but Tribute is made up of people that worked on the Scott Pilgrim game. They were, they didn't work on it the whole time, Right? But they did, like, lay the groundwork for the game and then had to leave after making, like, the first level and then, like, another team made the rest of the fucking game. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want to, like, see learning from mistakes, the Scott Pilgrim game and then the Ninja Turtles game. Also, this is a... I have too many fans. It is moving very fast, though. However, it's like only being held up by the fucking... <laughs> by the fucking stone thing. I don't know if that's like ideal. Something something weight distribution. <laughs> you know But yeah. Oh, 
Thank you. Oh, wait. The intermediate course. But yeah. In like Scott Pilgrim, like the books, I haven't seen the movie. I know the movie's like good and they like play around with Scott's arc. And I like that because so, so like the books, I like the books. I like the, the way the world is set up and like portrayed to the reader. I actually think that's like really cool and like fascinating, right? The way that it's not really revealed to you that the world is a video game. You just kind of figure it out eventually due to the nature of the world and the fact that Scott keeps getting in the fights. You know, it's got good humor. It, it, it has a vibe of a bunch of 20 something year olds hanging out in a parking lot after hours. And that that is immaculate. I love that. The side characters are great. It's just Scott and Ramona that are fucking insufferable. And that, again, is kind of the point. But also it's like you have to endure them being insufferable anyway. And that's not like super appealing. Like it'd be worth it if you could see them grow and become like better. So that it's like kind of satisfying, like, oh man, this guy comes starts out so shitty, but then he makes real effort to be better and he gets better. That's not really what happens. He kind of just like beats Nega Scott and becomes less of a fucking douche in the last book. And then that's it just magically fix him. It fixes him. But I and I get and I get that it's supposed to be a video game world, and that makes perfect sense for a video game. But also, like, the core of the story is supposed to be about how Scott is an asshole, and this relationship doesn't work, but he, like, fucking gets better. And, like, it works as a result. Or, like, you know, fucking... It's supposed to have an emotional core tied to self-improvement in this relationship, you know, becoming less toxic, but fucking... You just... The Nega Scott thing just totally fucking circumvents that. And it's like, that's supposed to be a core of the of the narrative, and you circumvented it. Like, that's not... That's not good, boss. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to tell you. Also, uh, we got a, we got a steering issue. I can't brake. This is already harder than the fucking car course, because I can't brake. You just kind of turn. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I hope with this show, I hope they don't fucking speed run it and stay too far or stay too close to the book or stay too close to the movie. I want them to fudge it again in a unique way and I want them to actually have Scott like work for it and get better as a person instead of getting a fucking MacGuffin and just getting better because that's like that's so hard to like <laughs> it, it's such it's such a big like hole for me at least it annoys me hmm <laughs> Oh. oh, is it doing the same course? Mm. It is. Oops. He did say, do you want to try again? My apologies, friends behind oh. the screen. I didn't fucking read. Tale as old as time. You know, it would be fun to try to optimize the line. Yeah, you could just make a flying vehicle for every one of these. Because I'm not touching the platform, I'm just going through the light. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Especially because they got Anamanaguchi to make music for the fucking... I killed the fish. Uh, to make music for the show. And I, I love their stuff, man. I love their stuff. Like, don't... You don't have to play the Scott Pilgrim game 
right? If there's anything you take away from this, you don't have to play the Scott Pilgrim game, but I want you to listen to the soundtrack. Or at least, like, listen to, like, Leave the Past Behind and Another Winter. Those are far and away my favorites from the soundtrack. There are, of course, other bangers, but those two are, like, the most bangers, in my opinion. And that's, that's about, that's about all, like, the Scott energy I've got. You know, actually, no, I do have another thing. It is cool that they got the movie cast back. It's, it's, it's like, it's such, it's such a, like, cool adaptation. Just, like, in theory, on paper. Because they have so many, like, pivotal, awesome things. Also, this is, you can just grind for batteries doing this. I didn't even think about that. Shit. But, like... They've got the cast from the movie. They've got the director from the movie. They've got Brian. They've got, you know, like a cool anime studio doing it. They've got Anime Noguchi. He sound okay. Bolson sounds like he's gonna throw up. He's like, uh <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. Tangents, tangents. It's 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 cool. I'm I'm like I'm like excited for it. I hope it lives up to, like, the sum of its parts, you know? Or to be more than the sum of its parts. Because as flawed as it is, I do still like Scott Pilgrim. Unfortunately. That's a lot of lights. And honestly, maybe it'd be better to make a slower machine with better turning. Honestly, if I put the two fans in the back that are like posted up and put them in the front, for like steering, like having them both left and right. Well, no, because then they'd be pushing on each other and that would make steering bad. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I'm full of salt. Salt and pepper. All right, how am I gonna get this? I don't, oh. Oh, I thought you would just DQ if you tried to go too far. Nah, dog. Oh, if you run out of battery power, you probably just DQ, though, because it forces you off the stick. I didn't even think about that one. Yeah, there's definitely a better route. And a better vehicle. Actually, I'm pretty sure the paddle boats would be a lot better because you can like left and right and turn on a dime. That might be worth experimenting with. Not this time though. You know, I still have to go kill that Lionel. <laughs> that's that's something I, I kind of forgot about. Five battery and Big ol' salted crab. I do- I do like that Bolson, like, advertises for her. God. <laughs> Dog, do you need- do you need something? Are you good? Do you like ginger? Seriously, bro- bro is puking. Bro is spewing. Hey, what do you think about the ocean, Tally? <laughs> No. You just have to get a beat on things. You're gonna copy my car, huh? You're gonna copy my Mach 4? Alright. 
So the Lionel, there is one caveat. It is over in the fucking snow area. Good thing I still have spicy pepper. So, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to be using the, the winter gear. This is a silver Lionel. We are not fucking around. This guy is smacked up on a Thursday afternoon. He is going to beat my ass. Right? So if I wear the, the ice armor so I'm not cold all the time, I'm going to I'm going to die in a hit like most definitely. So I, I'm going to have to make the most of moving slowly in the snow. I will have the, the crew, though. I will have the Cabbage Patch Kid crew. I am running low on weapons, though. I will have to go into the depths, I feel. I believe. Mm. What should I put on this? What should I put on this? I don't know. I'm just fucking one of these. I have a lot of them, so I don't feel horrible about doing this. And I guess I could put the dingle, like, you know, the, the silver, the silver dingle on as well, but I'm not really feeling that. Gadzoik? Alright. Yeah, I really gotta go to the depths. Huh. Well, I guess that'll be like the last thing I do. Go into the depths, gather my resources, and then, uh, you know, prepare to kill the G-Man. Kill the, kill the big G-Dog himself. Because, uh, it's kind of, I've, I've kind of done the bucket list. I've done all of the bucket list that I have in 86. Oh, right, the cold. I forgot to eat my fucking freezy freeze food. Um. Well, this, this better, this better last. Sup, dickhead. Um, mount him. Kill him. Twerk on him, gang. My goo. Oh. Ha! I still got it. Oh, you look so foolish right now. Oh, three for three. All right, I'm going to I'm going to stop popping off because there's no way I can maintain this. Oh, so he said, so he said all the things he said, all the things he said running through my head, running through my head. Running through my head. Uh, this is not enough. Whoa, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it had to happen. Oh, um, it's good, dog. Can I parry the fireball? I'm not gonna try it. Hey, thanks for warming me up, bud. It's very polite of you. Oh. gonna sugarcoat it. Get the fuck out of my street. These are my streets. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. 55? Holy shit. Holy, I gotta fucking... I gotta, I gotta put that on a fucking uh, Gerudo sword. <laughs> oh my lord. And it's 30 minutes. That was perfect, dude. That was fucking perfect time. And the funniest part is... 
Minoru was hitting him with the fucking like regular rock hand. She didn't hit him. She didn't twerk on him with the big stone mallet hand. She was like conservative with that. As if fucking silver Lionel wasn't enough of a threat. You're goofy. You're goofy. Oh, actually, I found a cool, I found a cool thing. So, you know, before, before we go, because I know it's the end, but, you know, a little more bonus, a little more pepperoni, right? Actually, maybe a little less pepperoni. The amount of grease that, like, pepperoni fucking facilitates in a pizza is disgusting sometimes. I don't know. I like it. I like it occasionally, but I've kind of realized that, eh, maybe not the best thing. I don't know. Anyways, when you wear this helmet, right, when you wear, like, one of these Divine Beast helmets, bro gets a helmet. Right? Uh, I went the wrong way. There it is. So here's the Zonite helmet. She gets a helmet. Isn't that cute? I didn't think they'd do that for Minoru, but there we are. But yeah, shit, man. That's the bucket list. I guess... Fucking next time I'll be seeing you, it'll be in the pit. We'll be taking down the G-Man. Fucking A. That is if I see you again. I don't know. Either way, it's been fun. And I thank you for entertaining. Or entertaining? I thank you for coming. You know? I don't really do much to promote this thing. I just kind of upload it. I don't even fucking do tags. <laughs> I have to do that in the future. But, uh, you know, that'll be in the future. And you know what I gotta do in the present? I gotta, gotta press this button. <laughs>